Hello everybody! So, as you know, I have this little affinity for Vegito decks. Meaning that I've made, I think, every single one in the game so far. So of course, when the new support came out, I'm gonna make the Fusion Warrior Super Saiyan Vegito. So, what does this card do? Every single Son Goku and Vegeta in any area is blue, green and red. Yes, that is the first version of multicolored cards. Uh, also, when this card attacks, you place one card and you drop. If it's a red card, it gains plus 5000, but to be honest, the unawakened side of leader is pretty bad. It doesn't draw, so... And when your life is at 4 or less, you draw 2 cards, but I would prefer the energy, so yeah. The leader is kind of underwhelming, but the deck makes up for it. Anyway, per same permanent here, but if you have 10 Goku and Vegeta's in the drop area, you gain plus 5000 power double strike, also you draw when you attack, which is, again, as I said, useful. So, we begin the deck with the MVP, the main star, the reason why I came up with the deck in the first place, the Ultimate Force SSB Vegito. I actually got this card one week before the new support was announced, really lucky of me. And it's just a basic triple attack, triple strike, you know, nothing much. You play it for 4 energy with the effect on another card. After that, 3 times, I mean, actually 4 times Hyper Rush SSB Vegito. Now this card, first of all, when you play it, you KO one of your opponent's battle cards, take a card from their hand, pull it in a drop, draw two cards and if you want, you can take up to two life from your own life, so you can just awaken faster, you know? Then, three times repeated force Vegito. I will explain all my choices and why I, and what my combo is when I show all the cards. Repeated Force uh, Vegito, just for every Goku and Vegeta in the drop area you gain plus 5000, so it's like Mirror Creator Absorbed, it also has triple strike, both of these do. Then we have Bursting Energy Super Saiyan Vegito Double Strike, you have Activate Main, place one card from your life in the drop area, and you restand to energy. Now all of these will be played with two cards. One is Lightning Speed Vegito. Lightning Speed Vegito, you attack. After the battle ends, you mill 10 cards. And you choose a Vegito from your drop area with 25k attack and put it on top in active mode. The other card you're gonna use is Vegito Resolve Combined. Now, this one you play for free. On top of a Goku and Vegito, you draw two cards when you play it, it has Barrier. For 2 energy, you play a Vegito with 7 or less from your drop, uh, I mean from your deck. Or for 4 energy, you play a Vegito 10 cost or less from your hand. But then you ask, how can we do the combo, right? Then, we have 4 times Polymorphic Potara. For 1 energy, it brings out a Goku and Vegeta from your deck onto the field in rest mode with negated skills. But we use a turn 1. So turn 1 we can go into him and have 2 extra cards. Then of course, some of the most important cards in the deck. Counter attack Son Goku. When you have 3 or more energy, he has 1 cost. And yeah, he has activate main where you take 1 life and you can play him for 1 energy. So it's kind of a self awaken. He also, he also has a counter attack and this is Vegeta Resolve Renewed which is the same but with counter play. So you stop a 3 cost for being played, I mean a 15k card. Then let's say that Polymorphic Potara doesn't come into her hand, right? Because you know it's only 4 cards, you cannot draw it the whole game somehow. Then we have Saiyan Do Son Goku, why? Because he pulls a Vegeta from your uh, hand or drop area. Actually, was it? No, it was from your deck or drop area. And it's played in rest mode. The Vegeta we use for that is Saiyan Do Vegeta. 
uh, when this is played, you restand the energy. So basically, you do you play these two for one energy, and this one on top. Then we have Vegeta the Fortifier. When you drop one card from your hand at the beginning of your opponent's main phase, you restand that energy. Then I put in two SSB Vegeta Resonant Explosions just for some, you know, quick clear, easy aggro, stuff like that. And I don't think you need them in the deck per se. Like, if you don't have enough space for him, I would recommend removing him, but I just added him because, you know, I like the card. Then, Nappa, Demolition Man, super combo, you can use him twice, one time when you play him, one time, when, I mean one time when you combo, then when it's on the field. After that, for some defense, we have of course, four topos. So you see, I don't know how to explain, but the topo, I just, uh, ever since I got the other two for the four set, Everything is for topos. Except for the cooler, you know, there you don't really need that much negate, that many negates. Then we have three times after image technique for those sticky situations when you don't have energy and you need to, you know, survive. And of course, the playmaker, the thing that speeds up any deck, Sense Bean. Okay, guys, so this was my deck. Hope you guys liked it. I actually played it a bit and I haven't lost a game so far with this version of it, I'm really happy with it. Uh, don't really know what much more to say about it, you know. This time I used a close-up on the camera because in the last few videos I saw it was a bit blurry, you know, phone screen, computer screen, big difference. So yeah, if you have any ideas on what I can do with the deck, feel free to tell me. Uh, you can say it in the comments or on my Instagram. But now the play. Basically, you have only two cards you aim to play. Either these two. This one is a bit... Uh, if you have it, cool. If you don't, you don't need to search for it specifically. This one is just... You return to energy. I mean, it's good enough. You play it once and then you can return to energy. As long as you have enough health, you can also self-awaken. So, what I do is, the second turn I play him, you know, to discard a card from my opponent, cripple them a bit with triple strike, stuff like that. Then, for my final attack, I aim to play Vegito, when my opponent has 4 life. On top of him, Lightning Speed Vegito. Then, I attack with Lightning Speed Vegito, take a life from my opponent, mill 7 cards, I mean 10 cards, and then on top, Repeated Force. Because repeated force, ideally at this point you have at least 10 in your drop area. So your opponent will be taking about 80-90k from repeated force triple strikes. So it really is a good deck, hope you guys liked it. And see you all next one.